And here is episode four of Spyro, continuing on from last time. We took a wee break last night, so we're we've got to kill all these guys again. But here we are, me and Danielle. Hello. And we're dominating once again, as per usual. We're going to be we're going to actually go into some of the worlds because last time we finished off the Peacekeeper Home World and we got all of the gems and such here. So we're going to go into the Dry Canyon, and we're going to do this level. Let's go. And we get to look at his happy wee face. Happy, happy, happy! He's happy at that 1,200 treasure that we found already. I'm happy because I've got jelly beans. I'm happy because, well... I'm happy because... We all need something to be happy about. I'm happy because we're recording Spyro, there we go. Okay, let's do this. Sounds like one of those things in primary school. <laughs> when you go around the circle and you've got to come up with something. Right, okay. Oh, and here's a little sneaky wee area with a wee blue guy. Okay. Oh, and these guys will fire guns at you. Like that. So, this world is obviously, the, obviously the world, oh, I got hit, but the, the worlds are a little bit more. You sounded so sad there. I got hit. So the worlds are a little bit more complicated than they have been previously so, well, so far. But they're still okay. They're still okay. We can still do them. These guys are still equally annoying. Run away. Yeah, I don't. That's that's one is just annoying because he runs around in a circle. But if you just charge long enough, you'll get enough close enough to flame them, like that, and that's how you get them. It takes forever for the bloody eggs to to reach his nose. I know. What game is it? There's one where the eggs actually hatch and you get to meet the baby dragon. I have no idea. I've only ever played Spyro number one and I've played a little teensy bit of Spyro number two. To be honest, I've, never, I've not played much Spyro games after that. I think I played some of Spyro number three but I don't really remember much of it. I don't really like the newer ones. Um, well, the newer ones always tend to, take, to rip them and take them too far. Rip them, that's such a Scottish thing to say, isn't it? I know. You ripped it, man, you ripped it. No, I mean, I even got it on a DS game, <clears throat> and I just did not enjoy it. Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> ah. And the first dragon in this world, out of 400 gems and 4 dragons. Conan. 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 Thank you for releasing me! Oh. There you go. Second number. There's number two. Thank you for releasing me. I wonder how many of these 80 dragons actually do say thank you for releasing me are so generic. We shall find out in this let's play. Mm hmm Because we're counting them. <laughs> well, they come to you, so just stand back and like flame them. I mean the enemies in this game are really not that difficult to kill. I mean this is probably one of the easy one of the easier games from my childhood in all fairness. Do you agree? Yeah, I mean, um, <laughs> well, I never finished this game, but um, yeah, I found it a bit difficult toward the end. But you know, you, I was only a kid, and there was so much stuff there, like the secret we had in bits and stuff. Dry Canyon rewards good gliders. You are a good glider, eh, Spyro? I was born to glide. I'm the best glider, I'll have you know. So yeah, uh, this m this level is all about the gliding, if you haven't figured that out. So there's only so many gems you can get just from on foot, but the majority of them you're going to get from, from gliding and doing difficult glides and such. Life, we've got 10 lives, I think this is the most number of lives we've actually ever had in a spiral let's play through. Probably, yeah, because we usually die like 100 times. Yeah. Oh, I love doing that four in a row. Hmm. I had chocolate flavored jelly bean. So, see that key and that dragon up there? You're going to get there, but we can't make it from here. So how do we do it? Well, I'll show you how. If I remember how to do it. <laughs> um, I think, yeah. This is how you do it. You come up here to this little ledge and you glide down here to here. Get this guy. Come on, 
some camera work. There we go. Some more gems. And then, very sneakily. <laughs> boom. This is what we're talking about with some of them. You've got to fly around the corner. Because you would never have thought of that as a kid. I know, really. How's a kid supposed to know how to do that? Another dragon. Three out of Maximus. I like that name, Maximus. Incredible glide, Spyro. I thought I'd be stuck here forever with those ugly vultures standing on my head. Those birds might look tough, but they're pretty tasty. Flame broiled with a pinch of salt. Mm -hmm. Chicken. Right, okay. Uh, where do we go now? Um, right, okay. Right, just get a, trying to get a bearing of where I am. Let's go up here. So that is the difficult glide. Uh, the rest of this mission is kind of a lot, a little bit simpler-ish. Oh, there is another difficult glide, I believe. Is there? Didn't you? I can't remember. These guys are really easy to kill. Just charge right up to them. Love how he's in the background swinging his bird. <laughs> Boom. Having chicken for dinner. Not even chicken, it's vulture. <laughs> it sounds so appetizing. Vulture for dinner. I'm having vulture and chips tonight. I almost fell off the edge there. You've still not had a turn, I've just not died. I'm so sorry. It's fine. Right, okay. Another, the final dragon. Ivor. As you can have a Russian voice actor. You Spyro! Are you the young dragon I've been hearing so much about? Ever since you're a wee puff of smoke. We've known, uh... You've known? Ah, I forget. Just listening to that guy made me fall asleep. I know. And plus, he's encased in this crystal or glass. How the heck could he hear about him? Exactly. <laughs> there we go. Up here. You'd be glad to know we're almost done with this level. <coughs> oh, I missed it. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what you're supposed to do, Martin. Not supposed to miss them. Twice in a row, by the way. We didn't see that second time. Nope, nope. That didn't happen. I don't know what you're talking about. Glide down here. Fail. <laughs> Obviously, you don't want to fail. I'm just being stupid. It was part. You of missed a gem. I know, I know. It's all part of my master plan, Daniel. It's all part of my master plan. I'm, I'm sure, you know. <laughs> Uh, right, okay. Up we go. Wrong one. <laughs> Yay! Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was so not my fault. I got nudged off of the edge there. You just overshot it, don't lie. That was... You know what we came in handy there? Triangle. Yay! Fourth time lucky? Third time lucky? I don't know. Are we sneaky gem? No. I thought it would have been sneaky with every gem there. Now I'm probably going to die here. In fact, so much so that I'm going to save. Why do you think you're going to die? Because of the following, uh, which I'm just about to show you. Honestly, look at the boobs. I know, I know. And the blonde hair as well. And the lipstick and the fake eyelashes. And dead ass. Come on, come on, just backs up what we were saying earlier. Doesn't it? Yeah. She's even dressed up. Like, who dresses up in a world full of norks? <laughs> Who has time for makeup? Yeah, these are firework things. You flame them and then they blow up. You can get hurt if you stay too close to them though, so don't stay too close to them when they blow up. Right. This is why I might die. We need to glide from here to all the way over there. And I might die doing it. So it's another one of those tricky glides that we probably died about 10 times trying to get. Not this time though. This time I did it first time. First time lucky. Very, very lucky. So blah, blah, and blah. 
blow that up. Blah, blow that up. Blah, blow that up. Blah, blah, and blah, blow that up. Blah, blow that up. And we're done. We are done with this world. Time to go home. Time to return to the peacekeepers' world. That are not so peacekeepery because they attack you. The peacekeepers that do war. Not so peacekeepery. It's kind of like the U. Oh, <laughs> 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 I was gonna say kind of like NATO there, but <laughs> NATO basically just stand back and let it happen. Oh, the world police. Here with uh, we're all about peace, but here we are with guns. We we'll have guns. We'll just stand here and watch you kill each other. You know. <laughs> Hotel Rwanda. Uh huh. That film said it all. Right, so that's Dry Canyon complete. Uh, now we're on to the next one, which is this one, Clifftown. Clifftown. I don't actually like Clifftown. In all fairness, I forget it. Oh, I don't like it. Not that much. I don't. I like Dry Canyon, but I don't like Clifftown. Remember this? Oh, I like this one. I don't. I hate this one. Right, get that. Now, the, the developers in Somniac Games were very, very sneaky with this damn level. Very sneaky. I'm probably gonna die. Yep, she will just <laughs> spank him and I'll fail to knock him out. There. Oh, and you can flame these pots once and they'll produce a gem. So if you're missing gems in this level and you have no idea where they are, they're in the pots. Quite handy, you know, actually. I oh, know, I had no idea the first time I played. Me neither. Really sneaky with the way they put their chests as well. Yeah, where they put their chests. Right, how many have we got? We've got 400, again, an egg, and three dragons. <laughs> Don't mind me just eating my jelly bean. Oh, did I not, did I not get that? No, I didn't get that. Got a blue gem here. I'm gonna sneeze, I think. Nope, I'm good. Another chest here, and that's all you can get for now. <laughs> you better kill something to get your health full. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Thank you. But, I don't even know what these things are. They look like mini dragons. <laughs> mini dragons. No, do you know them dinosaur things at a Jurassic Park? That catch the fat man on the waterfall? No. No? Okay. I've not watched Jurassic Park that much. <gasps> Halvor! How's a dragon supposed to flame metal armor anyway? This has already been covered! Flame won't harm metal, but charging with your horns, that should do the trick. I swear a dragon in the first world already said the same thing. Plus we already figured that out about it anyway. That way. God. It infuriates me hearing the same advice twice. I love how he stopped to look back. <laughs> oh he stopped. Wait, is he definitely chasing me? Yeah he is. <laughs> yeah. So there's the egg. Dun 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 Twelve lives, wow. Probably people sitting at home like, well, I had like fifty by this point. <laughs> I know, I know. We're probably do we're probably not doing so good compared to them. <laughs> right, okay, so you can jump up here, which consequently lets you do Nothing. <laughs> so you can jump up here, jump up here, which consequently lets you do this. Again over here consequently lets you do nothing. Again. Uh, so we need to go over, oh we need to go over here. And the rockets you can see on top of the taller parts are the ones that I spoke about before. We need to light them and they blow up some of the metal chests that don't have keys. 
Right, so we are probably not going to finish this um, level uh, in the next five minutes, so I'm going to cut the video off here. Thanks very much. I rolled off the edge. I knew that would happen eventually. Mm -hmm. So thanks for guys for watching. Uh, please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe if you enjoyed. It helps support my channel. Um, if you can, please go check out my Facebook page, www.com. No, jeez, Martin again. I've mucked up again. www.facebook.com slash Rudy95. Also go follow me on Twitter, the handle is at Readers and that'll, both of them will be in the description. So bye bye from Reader95 and bye bye from Daniel, bye bye. Yeah.